touch his ear lobe, touch his nipples, they are sensitive fat. Speak a little dirty in his ear. Please be vocal, but don't be, be a noise maker. Men don't like Good morning. Welcome, my beautiful ladies. Today, I'll be reading questions from this from my phone too. So, one of the questions goes like this. Nurse Linda, please tell me how to be sweet in bed. Tell me your bed secret. <laughs> the second question without. Nurse Linda, please, I want to travel to Lagos next week to see my fiance. The last time that he visited, he complained that I'm not sweet in the middle. He complained about my personal hygiene, but since that I have been following you on YouTube, I have learned a lot. Please tell me how to be good in bed. Tell me your bed secret. It's like these people planned, <laughs> cause it's like I heard bed secret, and I'm also hearing bed secret. In me. So today I'll be discussing this with you guys, with you my YouTube family. I wanted to send her a voice note, but I told her that I will be discussing it on my YouTube channel so that other girls, these questions that I read out now, the similar word both of them used was bed secret. So today's topic is going to be Linda's bed secret. Bed secret for girls. Today's topic, which is my bed secret, I'm going to take it one after the other so that I will not miss out an important details. I don't even do research on it, but it is already offhand. So I'm going to do it step by step. The first thing that I used to do is to make sure that my hair is on point. I will make sure that I wash my hair and make sure that my hair is not zooming off funny, funky smell. I will make sure I will wash my underneath hair if I'm... Um, putting on wig, I'll make sure I change my braid if my braid is old. When your partner comes closer to you and that funny smell zooms out from your hair, it will turn it will turn him off completely. So enable to keep your hair clean. Make sure that my hair is clean, my hair is neat, and it is not zooming off funny smell. Then comes my face. I'll make sure. I moisturize my lips. Yes. Go and invest in original coconut oil. Natural oil. That you can be using to moisturize your lips before the due day. You will not want your partner to come closer for a kiss and meet a cracked lips. Moisturize your lips. Then make sure to take your oral head seriously. Brush your teeth. Even before the D day, I am not advising you to brush your teeth five hours before the sex because you may, because if you have a bleeding gum, it is an easy access to some bacteria. So make sure you are already taking care of your oral head before the D day. Use tongue slipper, your tongue, to remove dirt from your tongue, and always use mouth wash. Yes, if you don't have money for tongue skip, then use your toothbrush. After brushing your teeth, you brush your tongue so that your breath will be clean and fresh. When he comes closer for kissing, oh my god, you he like I don't even making sure that my oral hair is clean. I go in with my ear, you know, the ear used to discharge that brown something clean that thing off clean the back of your ears and make sure you remove those discharge from your ears remove those discharge that normally comes out beside the eyes like this and remove those tiny discharge on your nose that used to all those things used to can turn your partner off especially the first girl that said that her man was complaining about her personal hygiene so the third thing that I want to, or the fourth thing that I want to step that I want to say on this video is taking your bed regularly, like 
at least twice a day. I don't know if I should stress on this. Taking of bait is an essential thing that we need to do as a woman. Take your bait regularly. Make sure you shave. Make sure to shave your armpits. Always use deodorant. Use roll-on on them so that it will not be zooming off funky smell. If you feel that your armpit is dark, apply lemon and baking soda. Leave it for like five minutes, then use warm water to wash it up. It helps to lighten the underarm. After your mouth, your armpit, then your skin, exfoliate your skin at least once in a week. When you exfoliate your skin, the cream that you are using will be working. If you are tired of changing cream, then invest in a, 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 those stuff that they can use to exfoliate your skin. When you exfoliate your skin, your cream will be able to penetrate and function well. Make sure your skin is on point. This is why I'm saying your skin is on point. I'm not saying you should go and bleach your skin or cause some to your skin. But you know, when some people, if you are touching them, their skin will be drawing like okra. Meaning that it's still dirty. When, what, when taking your bath, wash the first one, wash the second one. As to remove all the dirt, make sure your skin is on point. Then the next thing you have to do is your vjj your flower one trim it or shave it apply coconut oil for like 15 minutes before shaving so as to avoid that reservoir then i used to trim my own trim your own down please don't shave the exact day that you are going to do the two because if you shave you might get a cut and when you have a cut you can easily contract ISTD. So, enable to shave, enable to shave four or five days before the the D day. Then after shaving, make sure you are washing your vulva, your clit. Yes, your clit, Libya Manora, Libya Manjara, with plain warm water. Make sure to wash the thigh. Yes, that thigh with unscented soap. Wash it very well. Enable to. Sit back, yes. Use warm water and sit back. When you place warm water, then you sit on that water, yes, so that the water will be touching you small, 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 small. Do your kegel exercises. Kegel exercise will help to tighten down there. Always do your kegel exercises. And that thing, one of this, all this dimension is my best secret. After doing your kegel exercise, then why taking your bits? Remember to wash that line between your bum bum, your boots. That line there. Wash that line between your bum. Then raise your breast and wash under your breast. Invest in good scents. Oil, perfume, perfume, deodorant, roll-on. Something that has good scent. I heard that scent is uh, and scent and memories they go hand in hand. When you leave a good scent, this would make his your memories to linger in his head for or mind for a long time. Invest in good scent. If you want your scent to last long, apply Vaseline before applying the perfume. When you have already invested in good perfume, already taking care of your oral health, your body, your skin your vjj now is your diet remember that some anything that you put in your mouth would show down there pineapple kiwi cucumber watermelon this is good fruit to invest some orange yes yogurt invest in them take them run away from onion garlic red meat coffee mm -hmm. it tends to make the vagina to smell like garlic has health benefits but when you want to visit your partner you want to smell good you want to be nice in bed then run away from garlic why doing the do touch his ear look touch his nipples they are sensitive part speak a little dirty in his ear Please be vocal, but don't be, be a noisemaker. 
Men don't like people that talk too much, but you must be vocal. Yes, express your your pleasure. Express it. Yes, express your pleasure. Touching his Adam's apple, his jaw. Yes, touch it. Invest in wipes and their quality tissue i don't even advise tissue if you, if you can get tissue that does not use to remove that part because that used to fly on the head then invest on it in it invest in quality tour if you have access to good sterilized quality tour it is the best the reason why i'm saying invest in this is for you to use it and wipe if there is too much wetness you know when there is too much wetness down there tends to to become as if it is white yes when you feel that the lubricants the lubrication the vaginal lubrication that is coming too much then wipe it with that uh, silver the tissue or your toe your need to before you introduce microorganism inside your body wipe it before meeting your partner make sure to ascertain his head status make sure you know his head status you two should go and treat all if you have an infection go and treat yourself do you know having an infection will even make your down there to smell so go and treat infection if you have one after they do watch my video that i explain what to do after access and carry out those activities so let me know if we are on the same page make sure your hair is clean make sure your oral hair is on point you brush your teeth Close your mouth, scrape your tongue, clean the back of your ear, clean and remove that brown brown discharge inside your ear. Shave your armpit, armpit by investing in deodorant, invest in good perfume that you can apply to smell nice, invest in good pint and pint liners, then shave down there or trim down there, wash the area of your thigh, do not do chi. Wash your Libya Manara, Libya Majora. Wash your that tiny line um, in your boots. Wash your feet. Do your pedicure, pedicure and manicure. If you don't have money, boil warm water, put your leg for like 15 minutes and exfoliate your leg. Then rub your original coconut oil. The reason why I'm um, stressing on this particular stuff is you wouldn't want to be in the bed with your partner and your feet touch your partner's body and it will be cracking him like crackers you have to be succulent you have to be feminine yes invest in cranberry juice v wipes eat stuff that can give you lactobacin down there it helps to keep the ph of the vagina we are doing the do please wear confidence like a cloth so women they tend to be shy they tend to like they will feel like my breast is not as firm as i want it to be my buttocks is not as big as i want it to be my skin is not as succulent or fresh as i want it to be they tend to lose their confidence thereby making the whole preparation worthless queen when you are not confident this whole preparation this whole stuff that you're learning here is useless enable to be confident be confident on your skin when you are confident your partner will not even see your flaws yes when you are not confident when you go and rush and off like i can that is even when your partner now will be looking at you very well and he will be seeing those seeing those things that you are hiding be confident on your skin don't overthink overthinking kills your pleasure when you have finished preparing yourself the next thing is chasing your pleasure when you are confident you tend to perform more you tend to be more good in bed let me just put it like this don't overthink i think i will make a video where i will talk about the reason why women don't enjoy sex because someone was asking me and saying that i don't know the reason why i don't enjoy sex 
and my instinct that is my mind is telling me that she's not confident yes maybe her skin is sad some things so enable to be confident be confident on your skin and so what in fact at that moment your male partner is not even thinking about your skin he's thinking about the pleasure please this is the little basically that i can remember at the moment i have told you that this i did not even do research on this i just came out chatara because there are those things that i've been doing so i just believe that i can share my best secrets with you guys if i remember more of my best secrets i'm going to do part two of this i hope that this video would help newly married people I guess in relationship. In short, I believe that this video will help my beautiful ladies. Even if you know some, you can drop them on the comment section so that we all will learn. Let us learn together. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying tuned. And I hope to see you in my next video. Please, if you have not subscribed, click that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out to my returning subscriber this is me saying thank you if you are new here my name is linda iroma a registered community health practitioner and more this channel is all about your health as a woman everything about your physical emotional mental health i'm in for it please if you want me to do a video on any health related topics or issue send your question on my instagram handle i will leave the name of my or my instagram handle on the screen